They have had rigour, they have had choice, they have had to show leadership and strong communication as leaders, and they've had to be very high level thinkers. But it's also a program that wants to create well-rounded, caring individuals that are going to make the world a better place. So how do we get that balance right? Moving to the new campus meant that we had a, a massive upgrade in our facilities. We have four science labs that enable all kinds of lab work to take place. In terms of the arts, they've got access to this beautiful 350-seater theatre. I think as we progress and as there is much more currency in your ability to take things and bring them together and create something new, I think it's going to only strengthen the arts. You're collaborating, brainstorming, you're getting up and showing it the draft performance, you're getting feedback and you're going back to the drawing board. Eight little white corridors and those corridors really allow learning to not just take place in four walls of the classroom. That learning can happen also. The reason we wanted the, a community garden, you actually have to get your hands dirty. It's okay to move away from the 19th century, 20th century industrial model of education. We can engage them and we can certainly energise them to be the best people they can be. kids want a prop from 1930s, you know, we only need a picture of it and we can go and print that in our design studio. The future relies on kids being innovators in their lives because change is constant. Change will always be there. There will always be the complexity to society, complexity, vulnerability, uncertainty and ambiguity. But how do they cope with that and how do they innovate in that time? Students are successful on their own individual pathways. They have to decide what they're really passionate about, where they want to go with that passion and that motivation into the future beyond Ishmik. 